Today I'm going to teach you how to do a swing test. The point of a swing test is to determine the stability speed. That is, the minimum speed that a rocket is stable. In my demonstration today, I'm going to be using two rockets. The first one, over here, uses SD's 13mm black powder motors. It is 19mm in diameter. The second one, this big one, uses SD's 24mm DNE class black powder motors and is 66mm in diameter. To do a swing test, you will need the following items. First, you'll need a rocket. Second, you'll need some twine. Third, a tape measure, which should have at least three meters of tape. Fourth, scissors, regular kitchen scissors. Fifth, a marker that can mark the twine. Sixth, some tape to secure the twine to the rocket. Seventh, gloves. These are optional in case you want to use them to hold the rope. And eighth, a stopwatch. Let's attach the rope to the rocket. First, you will need the rocket and the rope. Attach the rope to the rocket using two overhand knots, like this. Doesn't need to be very tight considering you'll tape it over it later. Now lay out the rope. And make sure that it's taut. Now using the tape measure, measure out two meters. Measure out a little bit further so it's easy to see. Now line the tape measure up with the rocket so at the end is touching the rocket. And slide it so that it's exactly pressed up against the rocket. Now hold the rope next to the tape measure and get your scissors. Cut it exactly on the two meter mark. Let's balance the rocket and tape it to the rope. First, slide the rope around on the rocket until it balances when you hold it like this. By doing this, you are locating the CG or center of gravity of the rocket. When you have it balanced, take your tape and wrap it around the rope. This is securing it so that it won't move during the swing test. Now you can clip off the end of the rope so it doesn't get in the way. Make sure that it still balances and that the tape hasn't interfered. Let's mark the rope so we know where to hold it. First, take the rope and touch it to your chest. Now, hold your arms out so that you're holding the rope. Hold that point and take your marker and mark it. This is where you have to hold the rope during the swing test. Let's swing test the rocket. 
First, ensure that the rocket's motor is securely installed in the rocket and will not fall out during the flight. Next, grip the rope by the point that you marked out earlier and hold the rocket out on an outstretched rock. Now begin to swing the rocket in a circle. Now it's not stable because it's spinning around during the flight. As you pick up speed, you'll notice that the rocket starts to spin and then points itself in the direction of flight. Now it is stable. Let's measure the speed at which the rocket is stable. The timer will start the stopwatch when you say go, then count tab 10 revolutions, and then press stop. Then they will call out the time. The spinner will spin the rocket as done before and wait until the rocket is stable. Once it is stable, he will call out go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, thirty-one. Now let's calculate the stability speed of the rocket. A circle with a radius of two meters has a diameter of four meters and a circumference of 12.566 meters. Therefore, the rocket will travel 12.566 meters in one revolution. In 10 revolutions, the rocket will have traveled 125.66 meters. In my case, the rocket traveled 125.66 meters in 13.31 seconds, and it was going at 9.44 meters per second. This is the stability speed of the rocket. That is the minimum speed that the rocket is stable. I hope you liked this video. Please check out my blog at nearspaceforall.blogspot.com.